my printer recently gave up the ghost, I decided I'd have to go and get another one. Everyone hates buying printers, but it's something that sometimes you just have to do. Now, my list of requirements for a new printer were that it had to have Wi-Fi or be Apple AirPrint compatible. It's got a built-in scanner, you know, like an all-in-one device. It's got a front load and output the paper from the front as well. I can't get to the back of it because of the shelf that it's going to be on. It's got to be compact for the same reason. I'd like it to have all the latest features since I'm going to be spending some money. I might as well get the most up-to-date one. And I'm not too fussed about the ink costs. People get really hung up over ink costs, talking about refilling them, which printer's the cheapest, did you know you can swap the chips out, all that kind of stuff. Not interested. I just want a printer with all these features on, and I'll pay for the ink because I can afford it, because I don't print that much, to be honest. So I ended up getting this. I saw it in Costco while I was out buying some other stuff. It's the HP NV120. It was on a bit of a deal when I picked it up, but you'll find these for about £150 in most sort of UK printer type stores. Now, inside the box, you get the usual things. You get a quick start guide. It's the heaviest box I've ever had to carry around a shop, this, by the way. It comes with a sort of handle on it. You think, oh, this will be light. I'll carry this around the shop. Well, that was a bad idea. So if you get one of these, get a trolley at the same time. It's really well protected. It's got all the sort of sticky stuff on it and the blue sticky tape that doesn't leave the residue, you know, so you can sort of hold everything down while it's in transit. So they've done a good job with this. It's a premium product, the HP NV120, sort of at the top end of the range, despite the fact it's quite a small print it's got a lot of features on it so I'll show you what they are once I've taken all these bits of tape off now in that box we got the um, power supply it's got two different ones and it came with the ink cartridges now this is one of those printers that uses a black ink cartridge and a color one Oh, I also got some software in there. The um, the ink cartridges it comes with, of course, are the standard ones. It, you can get XL size, which prints an awful lot more, but obviously they give you the small ones to start with because they want you to go and buy some more ink. I'm under no illusions. Printer makers want you to buy ink. That's what it's all about. Right, so we've got to insert the ink cartridge in here. Um, so the top lifts up like this, and then on the screen it tells you exactly what you have to do. It's got this nice colour screen, nice and sharp. It's um, capacitive touch screen as well, and it's quite large, so that's pretty impressive. I wasn't sort of expecting that on this printer. As a result of it having a touch screen, it doesn't have all the buttons on the front that some printers do, but it's just as easy to understand because the screen tells you what's going on all the time. Anyway, we've put the ink cartridges in there now. It's checking them, and uh, guess what? It checks to see if they're genuine HP ones, as we know. That's where they make the money. And uh, we now we need to load some paper in. It shows us how to do that on the screen. And this is pretty nifty. It's got a sort of automated tray that pops out. When you press eject, motorized tray pops out. Uh, which is pretty cool. It's something to um, show off. I mean, have you ever had a printer that you want to show off to people? I've never had one, but this one, certainly one I'd like people to have a good look at. That's why I'm showing it to you, actually. I thought it was pretty cool when I got it out of the box. Set it up on the wireless. Um, it said you could do it with the software disk. Not interested in that. I'd rather just do it wirelessly. So connect up to a wireless, type in the password. It got straight on there. There was no hassle at all. It worked really easily. Now you can print out a report of the uh, wireless connection. I don't know why I did this. I just wanted to print something to be honest and there it is. It gives you a few bits of information. All the time this printer wants you to print things. It loves you to print things because you're using paper, you're using ink. Everything says, oh do you want to print this? And you go, all right then. And after a while you realise you're kind of being taken for a bit of a ride to be honest. As with most things nowadays, it needs an update to be able to get going. So while it's doing that, let's just have a look around the printer. Here's the scanner unit on the top. It's got a glass lid on it. You can see my hand through there. The scanner um, lets you see what's inside the scanner and whether you've got it lined up properly. On the right hand side we've got a place for a memory card and a USB plug which will apparently have enough power in it to charge an iPhone it says in the uh, instructions there. Now these are the apps that pop up on the screen. I'll show you those in a minute but let's just have a look at the scan button here. We'll just tap that again. Capacitive touchscreen, very responsive. Those are the things you can scan it to. Let's copy something because so far I haven't really printed anything in colour. So I'll get this magazine that I just had lying around. Uh, put it in the scanner there. Notice I've got it face up. The scanner unit's on the top so we'll press uh, that to get it scanning. Notice it, the bar moving across inside the glass there. And that gives a preview of what you're going to get and of course you can change the settings how many copies you're doing all that kind of stuff we'll press on color just so we get a nice color print out here and um, it, it's a pretty quick print I mean it's what you'd expect you wouldn't really want this in, in some office where you're trying to print thousands of things this is just a home device for small 
printing but again pretty decent I was only using really sort of cheap photocopier paper here uh, so it's gone a little bit wrinkly with the amount of ink on there but you can see it's a pretty good representation of what it was I was copying in the first place so that works now let's just have a look at it next to my old printer look at the difference in size I said it was a compact printer, but it, it doesn't really come into play until you actually see it side by side with another one. It, I mean, this printer does everything the other one did. In fact, it does more because look at this. It's got apps on this printer. You can put apps on it. Everything's got apps nowadays, haven't it? Uh, you can add in different apps on the front, whether you want puzzle ones or comics or... Uh, all that kind of stuff and the idea is that you print these out again using your ink and your printer paper and all the rest of it uh, using your consumables and that's how they're going to make loads of money they want you to print this one the daily read you can print it every day including the sports section and the finance section and every day you get a little newspaper print off on your printer now doesn't this seem like a bit of a weird idea because you could just sit there and look at all this stuff on the internet or on your tablet but you know what there's a bit of a novelty factor here I actually enjoy printing this it, you sort of come into a room and you'll find that there's a newspaper there now of course it's all American and therefore it prints at the wrong time in the UK in the middle of the day when I'm at work but if you're in the US and you got up in the morning there's a sort of newspaper printed out there I don't know that's that's a pretty well I don't know if it's useful but it's definitely got a novelty factor to it I'd like to say it was a free app. Well, it is free to download, but of course you're paying for the paper and the ink, etc. So if you're going to be printing that every day, all the sections, that's seven days a week, it might be an idea to put a bit more paper in your printer, especially if you're away from home. Now you can switch this off, you can switch it on. It's very easy to do. You can do it from the internet. You don't have to get near the printer to do it. So if you're away from home, you realize you're gonna be printing out a load of newspapers on your printer while you're away, you can turn it off. There's all sorts of apps on there that come in as standard and you can add additional ones to it. All very US centric though, nothing really for the UK. Now I'm printing out a, a double-sided piece of paper here. Uh, notice it said ink drying there it prints out one side holds it out in the open for a bit then swallows it again then pops it back out again and prints on the other side now of course with uh, lots of pictures and stuff like I'm printing now on cheap um, paper that gets a little bit wrinkly so you might not want to do a lot of double-sided printing it takes too long anyway now things that you can do on this printer other than apps of course we've got all these help files these little videos that are built into the printer so if you want to see how you do something for example load photo paper it'll tell you how to do it so you don't need to keep hold of any instructions I'm going to print a photo now just to demonstrate that so you've got to take the normal size paper out um, put photo paper in. I've got some nice glossy photo paper and I'm going to put a memory stick a USB stick in here with just one photo on it so it's easy to handle but you could of course put a stick in a, a, a SD card out of your camera and uh, print all sorts of pictures it's going to cost you a fortune to do that you're probably better off not really doing that on a printer like this again with it having that multiple color cartridge uh, color printing of photos probably not the priority on this printer it's definitely just for sort of small runs of things but I'll show you this anyway you've got a few different settings things you can change on there it identifies the size of the paper so you don't need to mess around this little arm that pops out by the way that's very good because it means it holds the paper up I've had uh, printers before where if you don't pull that front bit out the paper ends up all over the room anyway it does a really decent glossy print here of a, a butterfly that I took in the garden earlier on in the year um, so that was pretty good um, so I'm, I'm happy with the photo printing if you just want to do the odd one now and then. Now there is an iPad app, uh, an e-print app that lets you do things like um, print photos, send emails to it, things like that. But one thing that I found most useful about this printer, it's got its own email address where you can set it up with its own email address, its own unique email address. So you can send it emails. Now it's useful if you want to send a reminder home. Now I know this sounds a bit stupid to some people, but for me, I'm one of those kind of people that sends myself emails to remember to do things in the evening. But the trouble is, if you're carrying around an iPhone or an iPad with you, the email goes to the iPad and then it looks like it's been read. And when you get home, you forget about it. Well, how about sending yourself a printout to home and then when you get home, you'll find there's something sat on the printer. Oh, what's that on the printer? And it's something you sent yourself about four hours earlier. An interesting feature that might be handy to you. Another thing that I should mention, you can send attachments to it, like a PDF, and it'll print those out as well. But be careful. Don't give your email address out to some kind of nutcase. They might send you a thousand page attachment just to wind you up. But there you go, that was my look at the HP Envy 120. Wasn't really planning on doing a printer review, but I was surprised how far printers have come on since I bought my previous one, so I thought you'd like to have a look at that. But that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching.